Hi and welcome to a ground update uh, for April. Uh, this is the first one I've done for a little while. Work's been a bit manic, getting ready for the, the season. Uh, today is like the calm after the storm a little bit. We've had Sussex seconds here for a week under there. So under that sheet yesterday after the game, we brushed it up by hand. Um, then we used a rotary mower um, on its lowest setting and suck up all the suck up anything that was on the pitch clippings litter that sort of uh, grass debris but it picks up a bit of dust as well that, that kind of stuff um, now and then we watered it afterwards um, and we stuck a sheet on it so we're going to reuse that next week for some under 17s um, 2020s game so we're just holding it back at the moment so we put so we put a bit of water into that last night as well we'll sweat it out for a couple of days over easter and then just control the drying um, early in the week and then let it go mid to late week um, ready for next next sunday um, but currently we're on to our cutting out another pitch um, it's the fourth one i've cut out today um, after the sussex game we get slightly behind on pitch prep so cut out two nets today um, first pitch on our smaller ground and then this pitch here pretty green um, partly my fault because I probably should have probably left this one out of the feeding really um, knowing it would be the next one I cut out I'm not too worried though it may just have a bit of a green leaf but um, I don't think that's gonna it's not really gonna cause any major issues um, what we've done with this is 15 days to this is being used so um, we thinned it out a couple of times with a verti cutter, which is over here. Um, just to get some of the, the rubbish grass out and even out the, uh, the grass a bit. I don't know if you can see in here, but it's a lot of yellowy, browny, stalky sort of grass there, not very even. That sort of grass we've just got out on a couple of directions with a verti cutter. Uh, many people can use a lawman which would do the same thing. It's just another luxury of collecting it. And then um, cut it a couple of times. See the clippings here, a bit different. Much finer, all green. That's off the leaf. Um, when I set it, just setting it a couple of mils so we're not hitting into the surface. We don't want to hit, hit the soil surface hot, um, ideally. Um, just to risk when the, uh, um, when the pitches dry out, you can get some shallow cracking off of them. So our aim for this pitch now is, I'll just show you the moisture actually, um, over here. So the last couple of days, we've got some moisture into this around the Sussex game. I'm trying to get sort of three, four inches of moisture in that. I don't know if you can see there. But that, that core's quite moist, just accepting my thumbprint there. The roller's gonna push that down and consolidate quite nicely. Um, this is actually a hybrid pitch, so this pitch probably will dry. Nice bit of root in there. Very hard to look at that and then show you, but there you go. Nice bit of root in there. Peg also can be used to good gauge sort of depth of uh, moisture, but it's a lot more accurate if you've got something like that or even a smaller one. Um, some people use apple cores. Squares are quite firm here. I think you'd struggle with that, but it is a it is an option for taking a core, or taken from the edge of the pitch. I'd recommend because they never, you know, they never quite knit back in. That, that one probably will because the pitch is really moist. Um, I think it should roll back. So our plan for this now is we've got two weeks. So probably this is maximums we're talking here. 20 minutes a day, pretty on the roller, um, five six days a week, and then on week two. Um, reduce that down to 10 and maybe even less that one over there had a half of that and um, for the Sussex wicket and it played exceptionally well so it's not about volume or rolling really but that was for a four-day game so um, this would be for um, T20s but I say this hybrid so we're expecting it probably to dry out really fast so we'll, we'll be a bit bit more aware of that um, cutting wise we'll be cutting this well we'll be brushing it up first with a lawman we generally always use a lawman for brushing, so we're, every other morning or maybe every day in the last few days, we'll be brushing the grass up with the lawman and then maintaining around, we cut it out at 10, um, 11, so yeah, we'll be 
maintain it around that week one and then bring it down into eight mil for week two um, brushing every every other day and cutting after rolling we'll brush it up as well all with the lawnman um, and just try and let the grass sort of wilt off a bit um, trying to remove more grass than we need what we're really after is a is a hard surface really um, it's going to be for a 2020 so it could be between six and eight mil height height of cut um, really depends on how hard the surface is what sort of weather we get but the, we try and leave them as long as possible as long as the surface is really hard um, but yeah that's kind of it hose there we did some watering last night after the game that's how we collect our uh, clippings, that's just off the square this morning. Um, but yeah, um, so this week, that's pretty much it really, we'll be cutting the squares. Um, probably be doing the liquid feed, just keeping it up, keeping it on top, of, on top of itself. It's about 15 mil at the moment, the square, which for us is about right. We'll be keeping moisture levels up, even though they're actually quite high at the moment. Um, we had to water this one because um, pitch prep because it was actually under the sheets um, when we did have any rain but yeah that's kind of it really um, we'll be preparing the other ground preparing this preparing two net pitches which are in there you see over there our net area we've got a couple of new pitches in there that's all hybrid in there so they're they're about 12 days from from um, use and then we got a smaller ground down there um, which again is about a couple of weeks for our first game but yeah, that's that's probably that's probably our update and uh just wish you all a happy Easter and uh catch you on the next video.